This is the gathering of the masses that come to pay respect to the Wu-Tang Clan. It's March, so you know what that means? It's Max Aroma Monthly Pack in March. Try to say that five times too fast. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to the three sample fragrances that I got from Max Aroma that we're gonna try together. Bless and morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. See to you to the B to the A. Max Aroma Sample Pack Month. Every month I develop a sample pack with my peoples over at Max Aroma of fragrances that I want y'all to try or we're gonna try together or that I recommend that might be hitting that you might wanna test before completely blind buying an entire bottle. Cause I am the king of blind buys and I have spent, I mean, more money than I wish to share on blind buys. How about like 90% of my shit is blind buys? So on numerous occasions, I have always had a mm, relationship with the house of bond number nine. I do own a few bond number nines, but the favorite of mine in the whole bond number nine lineup just happens to be from the Dubai collection. Now Dubai Indigo is a fucking awesome freshie that I absolutely just enjoy in the hot weather and just works really good off of my skin. But truth be told, out of the Dubai collection, that's the only one that I own and have smelled, really. I put in my sample pack three fragrances that I wanted to try that we're gonna be doing a first impression pretty much on. If you're interested in, it's already in the sample pack, so you can get your fucking sample pack at Max Aroma. So I'm gonna start off with Dubai Amber. Let's crack this shit open. I'm assuming it's an amber-based fragrance. I mean, Dubai Amber, unless that's a location or a hotel in Dubai, I wouldn't anticipate it smell like anything else. Haven't looked up the notes, I'm gonna just spray this shit in the little container and just give it a first impression whiff and let's see if it smells like amber or what. This is fucking nice, actually. Mmm. Wow. This is pretty nice. Definitely ambery. Sweet. A little... A little wet. Slightly oody. Green. Earthy. Ambery. Sweet. Kind of nice. A little funk. There's a little funk that's coming up in that, that late opening mid area. There's a little bit of a funk there. Not bad though, this smells actually pretty good. This smells of quality, which it's Bond. Subjective. I don't dislike this one. Let me let this shit dry down and get to the next one. Next one is Dubai Platinum. Platinum Shalokalope, I think. I use, whenever I hear the word platinum, I don't know why that Biggie song just comes to my mind. That's how old and washed up I am. I'm in my late 30s and I might as well be like 60 with my fucking dusty ass beard. I don't know what's in here. I don't know what platinum is supposed to smell like, but. Okay, we got like a heavy, irisy, citrus. Mm. More on the fresher side. Definitely get like a powdery iris vibe, a little tart. Also, it's got a little bit of a funk. It's just okay. I'm gonna let this one dry down too. This one didn't do much for me. Again, we're just, I know it's in my sample pack and I made these selections, but I'm also gonna keep it all the way 1000. I don't feel like this shit is super lit. I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, it's amazing. You gotta buy it now. It ain't that great, at least right now. And the last one is Dubai Black. All right, let's try Dubai Black. A little sweet, fruity, has a little bit of a senior potpourri vibe. It's like a, is that raspberry? A little dirt also. They all have that same dirty, oodish, wet vibe. They're trying to stick with like the Middle Eastern swag. It's got a potpourri, fruity vibe. It's really the main thing that I'm getting from it. Hmm. Now I'm curious on the notes. All right, so Dubai Black Sapphire. I think I just called it black before. It's Black Sapphire. Saffron, beeswax, honey, neroli, balsam, Turkish rose, cedar, pepper, blue balsam, Siam benzoin, vetiver, and sandalwood. Now that honey's mentioned, yes. Old ladyish, it must be the rose combination with neroli. It's more the honey, the rose is really popping up. This ain't that great. That black sapphire, this ain't that great. Let me see what the other ones are. Let's go back to the amber from pig pepper, oud, raspberry, bergamot, gurjam balsam, Bulgarian rose, and jasmine. Amber, cedar, vanilla. I like this though. I like the amber one. That one's good. And finally, Dubai Platinum. 
Incense, cardamom, pink pepper, vanilla, cedar, labdum, ginger, oud, cashmere, wood, and papyrus. Let me re-smell this shit, because I like those notes. I like, I like all those notes. Let me try it on skin. So for me, the black sapphire, she's whack. Uh, it's not a go. The amber, I like that one. I might even consider getting a bottle of that one for the right price, of course. This platinum one, it's got all the notes I like. Let's see what it does on skin. Just giving this a second chance. Opening wise, it's just a smack of oud. It's a strong smack of oud. It's an incense and oud punch. It smells of power. I'll tell you that much. It smells like it's got balls. It's not off-putting. It's just not wow. It's okay. It's not wow though, not at all. So this sample pack is kind of like a, uh, an investigation sample pack. Now the funny thing is that I know some dudes, I got, I got a friend of mine who's Ood Doc, he would love it. I'll probably give this shit to him because he's a, he, and the stinkier the better. He loves that shit. This isn't super stinky, but it's right up his space. It's very Middle Eastern. It's very Oud incense based. And that's a fragrance that he would enjoy. That amber one, I really like that one actually. I'm, I'm surprised about it, that I enjoyed it as much. I do like amber fragrances and that one has like a nice combination and it smells of power also. The black sapphire shit, I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Sample pack will be listed below and this is just a good opportunity to try certain fragrances out and see if they work for you. Clearly, it doesn't always work for me. This was a first impression and again, I found one that I was never going to try until this sample pack and now I kind of like that shit. So I'm leaning towards the amber like... I'm kind of really feeling this amber one. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is the biggest in the game? Smooches.